The Bible says, And the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. Brother, sister, the Lord God has looked on your affliction. He saw that you needed a Savior, and he provided a Savior for you. He provided a sacrifice for your sins, a sacrifice that you could not make, a sacrifice that would not be worthy enough to make to God. So God sent his own sacrifice. And what should we do with that? We should worship God. The first time worship shows up in the Bible is in Genesis 22, 5, where it says, And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Abraham was going up there to make a sacrifice. And sacrifice and worship and sacrifice and praise are forever connected in the word of God. Hebrews 13, 15 says, by, that, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. We ought to give some thanksgiving to the Lord today a sacrifice of our lips giving thanks to his name can you give thanks to the lord jesus christ today can you give thanks right now for jesus christ saving your soul can you be thankful for that whether it's in song or whether it's in a simple prayer let us worship the lord today and say thank you for that amazing sacrifice, the Lord Jesus Christ taking upon our sin on the cross, burying it in hell, and rose, rising again the third day as so that we could have eternal life in him. Will you thank Jesus Christ for that amazing sacrifice today?